Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and this is Ask Dave. We're answering comments here. This comment came from Richard Chandler 9027 on DX Engineering RF Pro 18 Active Receive Antenna number 872. Seems odd the well-known quality chameleon would choose a 50 ohm system when 75 ohms is far more suited to this application, including RG6 and Type F connectors. Why do you suppose they did that? Because it's ham radio, that's why. Now, you need a re your receiver wants a particular input impedance, and it's almost always 50 ohms. Now, it is true in the history of the development of coaxial cable that 75 ohms was slightly more optimum than the 50 ohm cable. And so that's why it's used. It's just really not that much difference. Now, if your receiver has an input of 75 ohms, by all means, go with the RG6 and the Type F connectors. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do one of these days, we have 100 feet of RG6 cable. We're gonna do some comparisons between it and the 50 ohm cable and see if it really makes any kind of a big difference. RG6 cable is certainly far less expensive than RG8X or RG213. So, there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.